I'm Dan Smith. I'm one of the field archaeologists here at Jamestown. And uh, I'm standing in the area where we're going to be concentrating on this summer. Uh, we have already laid out a number of uh, 10 foot by 10 foot units where we'll be digging. And how we do that is we'll take the laser transit and shoot in the precise points. Then we'll give the, uh, each unit the next number in sequence on our list of uh, features and, uh, and units that we have uh, um, that we've been uh, using for the past 16 years. Once we uh, lay out the unit and uh, then we'll stake it out with nails, we'll string it out uh, so that we have the exact location. Then we'll take the uh, tools you see behind me over here. The first tool will be the, uh, uh, the pick, the orange handled pick over there. We'll use that to get most of the root mat and uh, grass off of the top. Then we'll move to the shovel and, uh, and take it down to uh, what is lying beneath the area of disturbed soil here and the soil that was plowed or otherwise disturbed by human activity. Uh, once we get down below that, we'll be at the what is known as the subsoil. It's kind of an orange clay surface. And when we get to that point, we can, we're can we beyond most of the human disturbance, such as plowing. Uh, and we'll see where uh, humans or plants, possibly trees or animals, dug into the ground and left a disturbance in the soil. Uh, it could be a different color in the soil. It could be uh, artifacts sticking out of the soil, uh, different texture. Just something is different. It's uh, some anom anomaly in the soil. So we'll be looking for that. And we're over here looking for more uh, stains in the ground that were left by uh, putting up buildings such as this mud and stud cottage you see over to my left over here, or just post holes for any sort of building or structure. Uh, could be graves, could be trenches for, uh, uh, for a building foundation. Um, just a number of things can be found in the ground and that's what we're going to be looking for. This is part of the fort that we haven't dug in before, so we're in brand new territory here pretty much.